What's up everybody, your boy Juan Valdez is back. For those of you guys that saw my previous video, you might have seen my trip that I just had to Orlando where I went to the Funnel Hacking Live event, which is hands down one of the best online business and marketing events I've ever been to. Honestly, I learned a ton and I have a ton of notes that I'm going to be kind of sharing with you guys throughout these videos. But today I actually want to go over one of the key takeaways that I learned from the event that I figured why not take some time to kind of just make this video and show you guys how this specific strategy or concept you guys can apply to your Shopify dropshipping business because that's what I'm planning on doing. Doing and I'm working on doing now as we speak. For those of you guys that are brand new to my channel, welcome on over. This channel is for the V Fam. The V Fam is a family of individuals that are striving to do a lot more than what society has out for us to do, and that involves learning new strategies and implementing them in our businesses to get ahead and obviously 10x, obviously what our business is doing up to date. So hopefully that's the goal, and that's what I can help you guys do. But recently had a guy that reached out to me. He's doing like. 50 grand a month, which obviously is huge. Shout out to him. He wants to get help on, you know, scaling. So hopefully I can help him scale and do a lot more than just 50 grand a month. When it comes to e-commerce and dropshipping, usually with good opportunities, you know, come competition, right? Almost every single business has competition. If you guys didn't hear actually, Toys R Us is actually shutting down and they're one of the biggest retailers. And that's absolutely incredible because of course it makes sense. They didn't take advantage and really shift to selling online and, you know, establishing their online presence. So of course that leads to a lot of different things like not them not having as much business coming in through their retailers and our, their brick and mortar stores. So it makes complete sense. Say what's up, that's Pluto. I'm gonna put him here. So that's what happens to Toys R Us, right? Obviously they had a competition, they couldn't keep up, they didn't do the right things, and obviously now they're shutting down. For you guys that are doing e-commerce, specifically drop shipping, of course, you guys are gonna have competition, right? There's gonna be tons of people that are gonna come in there, try to open up a brand new store and try to crush it. With competition, you want to find out how you can stand out, right? And not you know, let the competition do a lot better than you. Obviously, that's, that's going to be inevitable. Some people are going to market a lot better. Some people are going to have better ads. Some people are going to have better stores, better products. You want to find a way, though, that you can stand out. And that's going to be the topic of this video, right? Nowadays, like people are getting very smart, right? They're learning all about product research. They're learning a ton. They're learning how to set up successful ads, good stores, all that stuff. So, of course, that means that the job shippers have to stay up to date as well. You know with the information that we learn the strategies that we have in place and all that great stuff so that's why i do things like attend these different events because i want to learn new strategies that are actually working so one of the things you guys can do to stand out is focusing less on the on the products you're selling and focusing more on the offer right because if you have a better offer people will buy from you rather than let's say like amazon hands down right when you, if you think about it when you're going to buy something and you shop around usually you shop around not only for the best price but like who has an offer right who has a deal that i want to jump on right now and when it comes to marketing that's actually what you guys want to do and that's actually what i want to talk about when it comes to obviously the products that you guys are um, advertising right now of course everybody runs retail offers and free plus shipping and then of course try to upsell and downsell all that stuff right but the main offers are usually a retail offer or free plus shipping now you have to think like, how can I make my free plus shipping or my retail offer more attractive, right? Because what we want to focus on, what I want to focus on specifically is how can I make my offer more attractive than anybody else's, but also better than Amazon's. That's, you know, that's what it comes down to because now people are shopping when they're shopping, they're thinking right away, how can I get a cheaper? Oh, Amazon. So I'm going to go with the cheaper price. If you have a better offer, people will choose that over a lower price, hands down, almost all the time. One of the things that I wanna, I'm focusing on now on testing and trying out to see if I can get results with is crafting other offers. And what I mean by crafting other offers is I'm gonna start testing to see how I can set up buy one, get one type of offers for my you know, either retail or free plus shipping offers. And how can I also set up like, you know, buy this, get this free kind of offers as well for my free plus shipping and retail offers. So for example, if I'm selling watches, an offer I can craft and put together is, you know, get this, of course, the main product is gonna be the watch they're going after. But if you buy this watch, you can also get this bracelet free, right? And of course, some of you guys are thinking like, how can you do that? Um, you're going to be losing out money. Well, in reality, there's a way around it and how you can actually be successful by, you know, giving things for free, extra gifts, let's say for free and not really lose out on any money. So the type of offers I'm going to be putting together, of course, is buy one, get one free of the same product or buy this product, but also get this product free. So I'm going to be testing those. But when it comes down to this specific strategy, one thing that I learned is when you're doing this, you have to make sure, and we, I've already spoken about this before, that the offer is congruent, right? So if you're going to, you know, advertise like this watch, 
make sure that the other product that you're offering as like a, a another one free or not another one free because obviously they'll get that watch free the other product that you're offering as a free gift let's say for anyone that buys us a specific product make sure it's congruent because again it's just like upsell and downsells it has to make sense so that was just a quick example like the watch and the bracelet you guys can do it with anything right let's say if you're selling cameras right you can also you want to make sure that the the offer you have put in place is congruent so you want to make sure if you're selling a camera you can sell something like a tripod that makes sense right it's attractive because they get the camera and they can also instantly utilize a tripod so that's obviously huge because again it sees that they can see the value in the offer right away that is huge because if they can't see the value in the offer then literally it makes your offer pointless so you want to make sure that when you're thinking about these offers uh, either the again buy one get one free or the buy one but get this along with it that it, the offers make sense right that they're congruent and it really makes the offer a lot more attractive you always want to think about it like how can I make this specific offer more attractive so that's one of the ways you can do it now some of you guys may thinking like won't i lose money doing this well in reality what you can do is specifically is you can actually find really inexpensive products on aliexpress so let's say if i'm going to be selling whatever a, a necklace right if i'm selling a necklace i can find really expensive earrings let's say on aliexpress that won't be any more than like let's say five or seven dollars you don't have to lose money you can just simply increase the price of your original product and literally not lose any money because they're still paying for it. they're paying for the original product and getting that free so they're still paying for it in a sense now you don't have to do this to the extreme where like you know like you're charging them every single time for the full amount of the product because you don't want to lose a single dollar it's okay to lose a dollar or two on getting that customer to buy the product because again you guys know i'm huge on the back end so of course we're gonna get a lot more money in the back end the, the focus here is on having a perfect offer for the customer to one buy and of course make profit but then having their information, so of course then you can roll them into your backend system that you have in place. Now when it comes time to setting up an ad, like I went over one of the videos using like Canva of, you know, a buy one, get one free. So if I'm gonna, the regular, the ad that you already have made for your products, let's say if you're advertising watches, you can just simply include, you know, buy one, get one free, and then, you know, change the price point on it if it's a retail offer or if it's a free plus shipping. Maybe you won't do buy one, get one free, but maybe you do like, buy this product but get this along with it now the ways you can set that up again is like you can craft your ad to already say that that's obviously how people are going to see it and then what you can also do is um set it up so that in your product description on your shopify page uh you can see the product and the offer right so you guys can let me know if you guys want to need to see like if you can't figure out how to do it i can make an actual in-depth video showing you guys exactly how to do it but for now just to give you guys an idea you get to the product page and in the description along with your customized product description you can include with this product you'll also get free whatever the product is that you're advertising so it's super simple to get that set up and the reason why you want to do that is because you want to make sure the customer knows that they're a hundred percent gonna get that offer that they came in for so if you're gonna give them something for free that you're making it super clear on the product description that they're gonna get that what you can then do is download this gift app that Shopify has in place you guys can play around with it. again if you can't figure it out let me know but it's super simple it's a gift app which basically allows you to set up gifts for certain products well where they'll get these products added on and it won't charge them anything and they won't see the product like usually on their cart depends on what app you're using but they'll always see it when they're on their checkout page you don't want your customer to have any doubt on this offer or think that you know for any reason they're not getting you know that free product that you're offering so I just wanted to take a second to, you know, kind of go over this strategy because it was a huge takeaway that they were talking about in the event, really focusing on offers specifically rather than the product or service that you're offering because people will always choose a better offer, right? So I I thought that was huge because at first I never really thought about, you know, crafting different kind of offers. I always talk about I always thought about, okay, so how can I find better products to advertise? How can I make the ads better? How can you know, I make my store look a lot better and a whole lot more, but I never thought about the offer itself. Now, obviously you wanna do all those other things that I just spoke about, but the offer will also help you stand out because hands down, there's not a lot of people or any people that are crafting these kind of offers just yet now. Now with, there was a lot of people actually at the event, it was over 3,000. So there may be more people doing it now, 
or that will be doing it, but it's all about speed of implementation, right? How many people are actually going to start implementing and trying it out? Uh, I'm currently in the state where I'm trying it out, so I'll obviously share with you guys in the next few videos like how it goes. But you know, you guys try it out. Let me know how it works. So if you guys picked up a thing or two from this video, make sure you drop a like. Any questions you guys have, if you want me to actually show you how to set that up in your store, those specific kind of offers, you know, let me know in the comments below. Or if you guys also have any questions about how to craft offers or anything about or any questions about anything I spoke about, drop them in the comments below make sure you join the v fam smash that subscribe button and i'll see you guys in the next video peace